you know, it's a great, uh, I'm, I'm proud to be here and, and, and to win, you know, this game was, it was more pressure than I've uh, felt in a long time just to you know, get this, get this over with. And, uh, <laughs> you know, not, uh, certainly I wasn't thinking about losing until a little bit there at the end. And, uh, that wouldn't have been a good thing to have happen, but, uh, you know, very well could have. Uh, but uh, I think that, uh, you know, we've had so many great players here, and uh, I've had so much help, and the fans have been really, really great for a long time. And uh, you, you win these games with the support and with the, with players. And I've had you know tremendous players for a long time, and uh, that's that's how you win these things. Uh, that's how you win games. And, coach a long time, you're going to win a lot of games. It's as simple as that. If you're in a good place, and I'm in a good place, I've always felt that was. And, uh, you know, the, the, the support of, the, of, of fans cannot be uh, overestimated. You, you have to have that kind of support in your building when you bring recruits in to help you play better. It's all those things. Uh, and, and we've had a, a tremendous uh, loyal fan base that comes out and, and to a, where it's, it's a, not that easy to come to the Cary Dome all the time and get here and, and all that stuff. And that's why we've been able to be good. That's why I've always felt this was a great place to coach and why I've never really, want, never really thought about going someplace else because we, we had that kind of support here from, from the fans. And that, that's really the number one thing that you have to have. He's proven that he's one of the best coaches ever in college basketball. So you get 900, and he'll be number two shortly. <laughs> he said the number really doesn't matter to the team focus on the team. The number is significant. Uh, when, when, when all is said and done, and people look back and say, what did you do while you were there? Uh, there's nobody, uh, I think, but one coach that could possibly be ahead of Jim, and that's the guy down at Duke. And, uh, other, but, and he's a great coach, no doubt. And they have a big basketball machine, but this is a basketball machine also, and Jim is doing exceedingly well for his you know, it was, it's the only thing that made me nervous when I went in the locker room. He was uh, sitting there, so I, that's the first time I've been nervous uh, since I've been a long time, anyway. Uh, but uh, it was good to have him here and uh, get a chance to talk to him before the game for a while and uh, talk to somebody who's got more problems than I've got. Well, being at the Syracuse basketball as a whole, I mean, there's not too much going on around the community other than Syracuse basketball. We don't have no NBA team or no professional team, so Syracuse basketball means a lot. Him being one of the coaches, I think he means a lot to the community. Um, him being here so long, you know, growing up not too far from here, you know, he's it means a lot, you know, a lot of people look up to him. I think what's more important is that we win it. That means, you know, being part of 800, you know, being part of, uh, of uh, 900, pretty much means that we're you know, winning uh, pretty consistently. You know, that's the type of coach he is. You know, he puts um, all his team in position to win games. Um, I think as players, as, you know, especially if you the last four years, I'm just happy, you know, to uh, be part of these wins. And, um, I was, was, he's been here for a long time, that's one of the things I can say. I was actually talking to Coach Red. I was here for 800, where were you at? He said, I was here for 350. <laughs> and I was just thinking, like, wow, all right, he's been here for a while. <laughs> <laughs>